on today's episode of The Game Chasers. Oh, I'm definitely a player on this. Oh. Don't make me sick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is another big hitter off the list right there. This box is beautiful. You can just dump all the Atari cartridges into my pants. That is the worst bo box art I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on here? on a quick little road trip out to uh, Philadelphia to do a showing of the Adventures in Game Chasing. While we were in Philadelphia, we decided to hit up a flea market. Kind of looked like we were in the apocalypse. Uh, this flea market was definitely shady. Uh, we thought we were gonna get robbed, so we just filmed with cell phones. We didn't find anything. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't even know it did that. Look, look, look. <laughs> well, actually, Game Dave was with us, and he found a couple of things. Lips. <laughs> Got a little bit of a, a little bit of a sea stain there. And we decided, you know what? On our way home, may as well make a pit stop in Arkansas. No, unfortunately, we will not be going to the game room trading post. Sadly, that store has been shut down for several years now. They decided they were kind of done and auctioned everything off. Whoever won it, packed it up, left town. And it was extremely disappointing because that was my favorite store that we had ever been to. And every time we were in the area, we always tried to stop by. So we are here in Hot Springs, Arkansas at uh, Retro Video Games. For those who have been watching for a little bit, this is the new location of Game Room Trading Post. They couldn't fight that urge and that itch to continue doing something like this. So the original owner, Mike, decided he wanted to open another store in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I sold my business in Malvern because my wife passed away. I mean, her built it 27 years ago, and then I just reopened here two years ago. Oh, it's man. in my blood. <laughs> so, so well, seeing things at first, I was like, I, I was like, I know I ain't that tired. I mean, I was, <laughs> we didn't tell him we were coming or anything. I think Jimmy got a little excited. While the name of the new store isn't the most creative, I will give them this. It tells you all you need to know. Two bucks. Inflation. Things are three bucks now. <laughs> It's not quite like old times because the store is obviously a lot different from the old one, but hey man, the personalities are still here. Jimmy's talking our ear off, saying things that I still don't understand. What are you talking about? <laughs> My position in the store. So hey, we feel right at home. Let's dig in. Uh, what's this red Atari game down here? It better be good. It ain't, it ain't the porno game. I have no idea. It's a mystery card, huh? Dad, do you even know what this is? I can't even see it, Jimmy. It don't even have a label. Old man, that's why I came back. <laughs> That'd be nice. I ain't got a whole lot of room in this place, so I have to stack stuff to the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, actually, I remember him saying something about this. I see a box game that catches my eye. And it's on the NES. It's Life Force. Hey, Konami, Space Shooter, 80s, can't go wrong. Uh, reminds me a lot of Gradius, actually. Both really good games. Uh, I certainly have this one because why would I not? However, I don't have a complete in the box. And this, man, for $20, a complete NES boxed game for $20, that seems to me like a really good deal these days. Lick my taint. This Nintendo 64 case, if you guys don't know, I collect these rental cases. I usually like to gravitate towards the blockbuster 
branded or maybe they're not so much branded Blockbuster, but the ones that we used in Blockbuster. This particular one was not in a Blockbuster video. Although it is made by the same company, these are usually what your mom and pop shops would have gotten. But same company that made uh, these made the Blockbuster I'm just, ones. I'm, I'm more curious about the price. I'm that not was out of about. North Carolina. Blockbuster cases would have had a sticker for whatever console was in there. Kind of like the Sega CD case that Stupid Chris so underhandedly bought from underneath me. Don't forget who gave you a great deal on that Metal Warriors. Oh. <laughs> gave me a great deal or I found it on the shelf. Actually, he told me to put it on the shelf. I said, are you sure? I knew what it was worth. <laughs> You think I'm is eyeballing your sign? I'm jocking your sign. Yeah. Okay, so one thing I'm seeing here sitting in the window is a giant video game double-sided sign to light up from the inside, and one side is Nintendo 64, and the other side is PlayStation. This is just a, like a display thing. I don't even know if Mike is willing to sell it. If I know Mike, usually on stuff like that, you have to hit him with a really high price. Oh, I'm definitely a player on this, but I want to hold this off. They've got a couple of customers going on right now. We're going to go check out the back room so we can be out of everyone's way for a little bit. I don't know if Jay's going to get this sign or not. It's going to be pretty interesting to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Jimmy, they always had a plethora of Atari games. And you know me, I love my Atari. I'm an old, crusty, broken down. I got him. Beanie Bopper. I don't think I have this one. Beanie Bopper's basically a, I, I don't know, a shooter. You're, you're a bopper and you're shooting beanies. Maybe it's the other way around, but you shoot them, stun them, and you capture them, basically. And there's other random objects, bonus objects that fall from the sky. And that's pretty much the game. Uh, they're these new kids, they don't care about the Atari. I do. Give me all the Atari. I'll open up my pants. You can just dump all the Atari cartridges into my pants. I'll walk right out like those two big guys like on the motorcycles, the little mini motorcycles. They were on The Simpsons once. This is one that I, I think I'll pick up. Uh, Jimbo. Beanie yes, Bopper. Now it's time for me to just lift myself up off the floor. Ugh. Oh man. I am so cramped after being in that car for like a day. Here. I've been on the road for so long the last day and I feel like I'm losing my mind. My bearded dragon hat laid eggs. Oh, interesting. Are you breeding? No. No. I don't think. Okay. No. Uh, he's, he's, she's enough trouble for me. I have no idea who this lady is. Bearded dragon eggs or something? I don't, what? Completely random. I hadn't said a word to this lady. That's a bearded dragon in yep. its salad. Yeah, bok choy. What the, what the hell's going on here? I don't know what that was about. Maybe I look like I have a friendly face and I want to see about your animals. On his answer, can Jimmy do this? What? Don't make me sick. <laughs> what? Send your hungry, let's go. Okay. Waffle House, see y'all later. Oh, hell no. Bye. No. What the f just happened there? <laughs> I don't even know who that was. So I find Hero on the 2600. Now this is actually one of the better games on the system. I never played it. Uh, grandmother never had it. I uh, never knew about this game until like I started seeing reviews about it on YouTube when I started getting into the collecting scene. Atari games are all about the piece, aren't they? They are. Loading up. Man, I, I kind of want to get it because my copy at home does not work. So another game I'm seeing here is Crypts of Chaos. Oh damn, I missed that one. Can I have it? No. Basically the point is to Get in the crypts, kill as many enemies as you can, get the treasure, get out of the crypts. A couple different game modes here to start you at different levels. You have weapons like a wand, a sword, a ring of power, and it helps you kill enemies. Oh, and a peace sign. Caught me slipping. 
Atari. Jimmy, what are you charging on your Atari games? I don't know what he charges for Atari games. Yeah. Just a bag of meat. You don't know anything, do you? <laughs> no, because he keeps changing his stuff all the time. One day he'll tell somebody this, the next day he'll tell somebody else something else. I mean, I guess you can ask whatever you want, right? I'm not in charge, brother. I'm just an extra set of hands. That didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Guy. I, yeah. You know, in the past, it's been, oh, that wall is $5 a game. This wall is whatever. It's not really going on right now, especially with the Atari stuff, which is what we're looking at. There's no prices on any of this stuff. I don't know. He could be he could be right on retail. He could be like, Psh, it's Atari. Just give me a couple bucks each for it. I don't know what's going to go on here. So Mike here has a stack of empty boxes. I'm seeing one, Evander Holyfield's boxing. So I think we're going to... Try to get this for Chris. He has a big connection with George Foreman on Genesis. And um, I'm not sure if he has the case for it. I think his copy's loose. I could be wrong, but hey, it's here. It's empty. I'll probably get a good deal on it, so why not? I'll, I'll pick it up. You said you'd buy a ball on something else. I am. I am. I'm just, you know, we're talking. Okay. I want to know what you're all about. Why are you making things difficult? Why are you making things... <laughs> Jay! Got a stack of games here. I think now it's time for me to ask about this sign and see where we're going to be. Okay, I got a question then. Is this for sale? No, not for sale, buddy. It's not for sale. If it makes you feel better, it works. I don't think Mike necessarily figured anybody would ask about this science. You don't hey, even have a, a, a crazy you number. Ain't anything on. in here for sale. That's what I'm saying. What's your what's your anything crazy in price here for on? sale? The price is right. I, I, okay. Like I told you, I'll hand you the keys to this damn store if you want it. Uh. <laughs> so what's your price on the sign then? I don't even think you got a price in mind on it. This sign right here is five hundred dollars. Five hundred for the sign. Why does your face look like that? It's pissing me off. So we have our pile here of 2,600 games, and man, nobody wants 2,600 games. They range from $5 and up, buddy. Uh, I feel like I should probably pull out here. Yeah, I just want to pay for this stuff right here. I like them too much to insult him with a really, truly horrible offer, but what these games around, probably what they go for now, I don't want them bad enough to have to pay for that, so what do I do? Where did the sign come from? I bought a man out in Jacksonville. Okay. Uh, I gave him $10,000 for his collection. That was, that was in it. Now, where he got it, I couldn't tell you. He told me he had it for 10 years. Uh, okay. But it did light up more. Honestly, we don't know what this sign's worth. Neither one of us do. Can I make a realistic counter offer That's on fine. it? 300. I made him an honest, acceptable rebuttal. Jay, I, I wish I could, man, but uh, I, I, I'd rather just let it sit in the window for that. I mean, you know what? Uh, you know it's cracked, right? I know it is. Okay. I mean, it, you know, it ain't in bad shape, but it ain't in perfect shape. Right. Okay. If it was in perfect shape, it'd be a thousand dollars, but it ain't in perfect shape. I mean, you know. Three fifty. He said 350. I know what he said, Jimmy. I heard it. <laughs> okay. I don't think I lowballed him too bad. And honestly, I'm okay meeting in the middle. I will pay a little bit more money if there's something that I want. I want this sign. You trying to say? Ah! You trying to say I'm going to have a good payday, Dad? Is that what you're trying to say? You it's up to Jay. It ain't up. Oh, it's up to Jay. Okay. It's so interesting to watch Mike go from not really wanting to sell it at all to now really pressuring Jay to buy it now at this point. <laughs> so you're at you're at five, I'm at 350. Yeah. I'm I've come up some and you haven't budged. So what, well, where are we at realistically? Mike is almost to the point where he's just taunting him. Come on, buddy, get off, get off that wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a cigarette. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to now you open do, my now, now you done got me uh, excited now here. Uh, like, you're wanting to buy some stuff, and uh, now you're going to back, back out of it. Uh, okay, where are we at on the games? It's $120 right here. Yeah, some of these games in this pack are like $30 games. That's $20. That's $140. I'm just giving you that. I'm doing $450 on the sign. 
It's because of you. So he starts to work with me a little bit, a little bit. You're looking at 140 and 450. How much is that? Uh, five, 590. Comes out to like 400 even, I think. He said, what? <laughs> I'm good paying right at that $400 mark for the sign. That's where I want to be for this sign. Let's see if we can get there. Has anybody else asked for the sign? No, nobody's asked for the sign. But I don't think you want to sell it either. A year and a half, two years. Right. I ain't no hurry to sell it, but. I understand that. Mike has this issue, and this is why I could never open a store, because I'd want to keep certain things that came in. I'll do 375 on the sign. <laughs> I'm trying here. I know you're the old me would be I like, I'll give you a hundred bucks, right. hey, and I'd be serious and about it. I appreciate it, it buddy. I, mean, I, I can see you want the sign. I want the sign. I, I want the sign, and I'm about to hit my max on it. 575. I'm, I'm still bending. I'm, <laughs> I'm bending so much, I'm about to break here. I'm just saying. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's good. I'm really trying to do my best to buy this sign. I, I made that man sign, throw man. that sign in. I made him do it. Uh, I'm going to make you throw it in ah! too. Watch. <laughs> Kill me. How do you want to pay for this? Uh, I have some cash. I can go to an ATM if you that's want That's what cash. I'm saying. You can go to an ATM. I'll go to an ATM. What are we at then? I'm, I'm sitting at 25. These don't bother me. Right. I could care less about these. That, that's what you don't see. Okay, so now he comes at 525 for everything. Keep in mind, he wanted $140 just for the games. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Cool See, you already got me paying more than I want. Right down here, about a mile down, it's getting me $525. I'm going to well, help you load it wherever you guys are in. <laughs> Billy, what do you think? Your zipper's down, by the way. <laughs> Having to sit and witness this just sheer agony for like 30 minutes. Are you putting us on YouTube? <laughs> yep, yes. he's filming too. It's recording, so. Oh. We didn't make this a great episode already. I'm gonna hate driving out of here without this sign. I know, and I was literally about to say that you're gonna go off and have buyer's remorse. And or excuse me, non-buyer's uh, non -buyer. remorse. Okay, so look, the bottom line is this, for everything, I'm at $500, which I think is more than fair. Look, look, five, I think get 520 out of this guy. <laughs> uh, uh, well, he came down five. He did come down five. He did five. come down five. I'm gonna get 520 out um, here in a minute. We're both kind of being stubborn at this point. It's it's pretty much a test of of will. Who, who's gonna be the most stubborn? In about 10 minutes, he's gonna, he's gonna come off at 520. Okay, uh, how? What, are you, what else are you throwing in to make me do that? Oh, God. <laughs> One car. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. Because both of us want to win. That's pretty much what it boils down to. We both want to win. 510. Yeah, we meet at 510. Fine. I wanted five. You wanted 520. 510. We both give a little bit. I'll probably just leave it alone. Thank you. Good man. Appreciate it. Thank you. The seven hour negotiation aside, it was really cool to be here and see Mike and Jimmy again. Okay, so honestly, it was nice seeing Mike. It was nice seeing Jimmy. Uh, we paid a little bit more for things than we normally would have in the past, but honestly, right now, things are, are just a little bit more than they were in the past. So I think ultimately we all left out happy and I, I gotta figure out how to load this big ass sign into this little last car. Okay, what'd you find on that sign? This is the rarest N64 sign ever made. There's not a whole lot known out there about this sign. So I start, you know, texting some friends and whatnot and trying to figure out what this sign is. From what I found out, Toys R Us apparently manufactured these signs. And to try to save money, they made this double-sided sign. And apparently, Nintendo rep came in and was like, you can't put our brand on a sign with another brand. We're not okay with that. So Nintendo basically ordered Toys R Us to destroy them. It doesn't always happen like that. A manager might take it, an employee might take it. So we don't know how many were actually made. We don't know how many actually exist. What's it worth? That's up to the collector. To me, it's worth 400 bucks. I kind of like the story on it. I'm okay with what I paid. Interesting. I might do some more research on this. Hmm. Yeah. All right. All right.
All right, so it's once again time for Retro Palooza. Having a great time. And then somebody comes up to me and says, hey, there's a bunch of Atari ST games. Just beautifully, just <laughs> play the song. Alien Syndrome's imported on other systems, of course, but uh, uh, don't have the Atari ST version. And it's only $15, so let's do it. I'm going through boxes and boxes and boxes of just these pristine copies of Atari ST games, and it is amazing. I am in, in a hog heaven. I can see, I can see that, I can see that. I actually have this one. What's that even mean, hog heaven? I'm slopping around in Atari ST games as if they were mud. That's how happy I am right now. Look at that, it has the original video visions. This is what I really, I'm into this right now, like big time. Play it, I don't, no play it right now, I wanna hear this. Obliterator. Well, that's badass, I gotta get that. Now the Atari ST was a, an old vintage computer uh, from the 80s. My dad had one. That's the only reason we had one in, in the house. That's the only video games we actually had in my house because my dad wanted the Atari ST. Uh, the NES and the Super Nintendo, they were at my grandmother's house. He was really into a lot of the flight simulator games and jet games and, and things like that, like Falcon on the Atari ST. Uh, so when it comes to my dad, that's, he wasn't a big gamer unless it was that. Mission Impossible 2, that is the worst bo box art I've ever seen. It was really the only way I could bond with my dad over video games. Uh, so I cannot think of the Atari ST without thinking about those moments. It's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. The condition on these is mind blowing. It is insane. Yeah. It is insane. Yeah. I'm ecstatic because this is Steve who owns the Retro Madness chain in the DFW area. Good friend of ours. I'm and, pretty um, confident I'm the only guy here with ST software. <laughs> well, this one's wow. five bucks. I gotta get that. Five bucks, no nuts. Five bucks, no nuts. See a game here, Hostage? Don't know anything about it, but it is five dollars. A five dollar Atari ST game in the box in pristine condition? I don't care what it is, I'm buying it. That's a really good game. There's literally so much here, like I could spend a couple hundred bucks easily, but I obviously can't do that, so I'm gonna have to, have to cut off at some point. Star Glider 2 here, uh, intrigued by that one because uh, I played a lot of the first Star Glider, that was one of the games that we had, and it was definitely a game that took its inspiration from the Star Wars arcade game. Pace yourself, I, you know what, I'll, get, I'll just get these for now. I don't run across this type of stuff in this condition very often. This is a very unique find. Uh, this, is, this is pretty, pretty awesome. Yep, yep. Yeah, I, I thought of you as soon as I got these. You're the only ST guy I know, so. If, yeah. I, if I sell some DVDs over there, I'll come back and get some more. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's just, I love collecting for the Atari ST, and I just wish I had more room for all this junk, but <laughs> I'm losing, I'm losing space. Man. These boxes are just, they, they're pretty big. A lot bigger than NES boxes. I mean, that is more or less the way game chases go. Play the song, put it right now, right now, do it. Atari ST. Hmm, interesting. So I'm roaming around on the floor and I come across Chris making a deal. I'm getting uh, Contra, Contra 3 box. I've got a loose copy of this with a repro label. And when I saw this dangling in here, I was like, I knew I had to have it. This thing is pretty. I love the artwork. I absolutely love the game. Me and Chris played this co-op all the time. And that was one of the really cool things about it is, you know, we didn't have that many co-op games. This was before Turtles 4 came out. I don't care how much it is. Like I'm, I'm picking this up and I'm dropping money on this because it's in great shape and the manual's immaculate and the cart's immaculate. That's a really good game. Yeah, I'm picking it up for a buck 20. It's a good deal. And it is, it's clean cleaner. So add that one off the list. Now this box on this, I'm jealous because my box for my Contra 3 is in really, really not good shape. It's it's the one I got from stupid Pat. Hmm, interesting. It's not that I'm trying to collect everything in box. I just want what we had growing up boxed. As I'm buying that, I look down and I see Super Street Fighter 2. And I, that's another one that I don't have boxed. This is another big hitter off the list right there. This cartridge, this box, 
is beautiful. So damn, spending more money, I'm picking that up too. 60 bucks for a game that I really want in great shape. Uh, yeah, I'm buying it. Street Fighter 2. My grandmother actually went to Toys R Us to get. Uh, she bought games just because she liked the games. Where's the wife at? I'm gonna do this while she's not looking. Another one that me and Chris played constantly. He was getting older, he could start playing a lot better. And when, so when it came to a fighting game, like I'd still whoop him, but at least he could somewhat put up a, up a fight. Well, not really. I don't think you could kick my ass in it today. I think, I think if we played, I think, well, after we're through with the interview, you can point the camera at that and we'll we'll go. Well, and I don't... I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm at a disadvantage. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with the bullshit excuses. Here we go with the bullshit excuses. Got Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition right there. And he's got to make excuses because it's freaking arcade stick and not Super Nintendo controller. Hmm, interesting. Uh, getting my heavy hitters marked off the list. I'm happy with for him. I'm also happy for myself because I got some amazing, amazing ST games. I mean, that is more or less the way game chases go. I didn't actually want to break it. So I got to get you in squadron. Because Billy screwed me. I could have gotten this complete in box yesterday, but Billy was like, no, 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 no. Next Newman tomorrow. Because one of these chodes left the camera on and the battery died. And now the guy's not here that had it complete in box. Just so I'm clear, I didn't sound like this. Hey, yo, I know you really want that. Hey, can you get it on Sunday? Probably get a better deal anyway. And then also we can shoot because right now the camera's dead because Melvor, not somebody, Melvor left the camera on. No, I didn't sound like that at all. This is what I sound like. I'm a battery, dead tomorrow. Correct. Okay.